Hey guys, what's going on? It is Dylan. I'm here today with the DJI Mavic Pro tutorial and we are covering an intelligent flight mode known as point of interest or POI for short. Now what point of interest is, is it's where say you have an object and in my case, it is going to be this water tower um, right here in my small town here in Southwest Oklahoma. I said in my small town, I meant a small town. It's not my town. Anyways, um, so our object's gonna be the water tower. Now what this is going to do is say here's the water tower. What you do is, is you, you manually fly in normal mode your drone above whatever your object's going to be. You point your camera straight down so you can see that your object is centered in the frame. And then you record that as the home point, meaning this is what I want to, this is what I want my drone to revolve around. So then you fly your drone out at the radius that you want to circle around. So if you want it circling pretty big, you come clear out here and it'll circle that big. But if you want a tighter radius, get closer and it'll, and you can choose counterclockwise or clockwise and you can also set the speed. So it's really cool. There's a little bit of wind today. I apologize guys. I know there's been a little bit of annoying wind in a lot of my videos, but cut me some slack. I live in Oklahoma. The wind, they talk about the wind in our state song for crying out loud. So there's a reason there's tons and tons and tons of windmills in Oklahoma. So um, we hardly ever see any limp flags. But anyways, um, let's get the drone into there and I will show you guys how to do point of interest mode. Okay, so we are going to start out and guys, I really apologize. The sun's not being my friend today. If you guys cannot see this, I'm really hoping you can. We're going to, first of all, I'm gonna make sure that I uh, set my home point. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. And we're gonna launch the drone. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Okay, let's turn around here. And there's the water tower that I was referring to. Want to make sure that we are above it. Are we in focus? Why are we having such a hard time focusing? Okay. Looks like we are definitely above it now. So let's just fly over it. Let's face our gimbal down. I'm gonna go up a little more just to be sure. Okay, now we're going to, hey look, there's Andarco PD checking in on me and make sure I'm not doing anything too crazy. Okay, let's get right above the water tower. Okay, so as you see, we're right above it. We pretty much have it in center frame. And we're going to click the little remote icon. I'm in DJI Go 4, it's a little remote icon. So we're gonna click that to pull up our intelligent flight modes. Scroll over to the next page. Gosh, I hope you guys can see this. Um, don't need to scroll over to the next page. The point of interest is currently in the bottom right. We're gonna click on that. We're gonna click OK. Now down here in the bottom right of what you probably can't see, and I'm gonna be so mad, it says record POI. We're recording our point of interest because the water tower is our point of interest. This is where we have to then fly out and set our radius. So I'm gonna do a pretty good size radius. Let me fly out some. Not only do you want to set your radius, like how far, you also want to set your altitude. So I'm going to bring it down some as I want um, some of the horizon in the shot. I think it just kind of adds to the uh, look of the uh, shot. So let's see here. Let's see. Okay, let's call that a little bit down. Let's call that good. Okay, so right there is going to be the, the, uh, the altitude and the distance away. So at that point, I'm going to hit apply, and then I'm going to make it go 10 miles an hour around. And as you can see, guys, 
I'll put the controller down. Hands free, not touching it. The drone is circling the water tower all on its own. Perfectly still shot, revolving around the water tower. And it will continue to do so until I stop it. So I'm gonna pick the remote up. As you may or may not see, it says POI mode here on the, uh, on the uh, controller itself. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull back up the point of interest menu by clicking this little icon there. And we are going to slow it down to go the other way at 12 miles an hour. And as you see, it changed directions And it's going the other way at about 12 miles an hour. So, guys, that is what point of interest does. Again, I could have went in closer to the water tower and did a uh, tighter circle. I could have done it a lot slower. I think you can go up to about 15, 20 miles an hour. Um, I'll have to check on that as far as your speed around it. But I just think that point of interest is very, very cool as you can get some really cool cinematic looking shots now when you're ready to stop all you have to do is go over here and click stop and click ok and now you are back in normal mode at which point i'm going to bring the drone down and i'm going to land it so anyways guys there you have it that is point of interest mode or poi um just another intelligent flight mode um offered um, by DJI at this time um, for the DJI Mavic Pro and it's on the Phantom series as well. So anyways guys, um, please subscribe if this video helped you out or you enjoyed watching it, would like to see more, please hit that like button. As always, I appreciate you guys checking out the video. This is Dylan. We'll see you on the next one.